Hello everybody, this is Bridge and Balance, and today we're going to be unboxing the Hamilton Khaki Field Titanium version. This is the new version, 2022 version that was just announced um, and released. I have here in this box the 38mm version uh, in green, if I think you call it olive. So I just kind of want to give my first impressions on the watch. Um, we'll have more details later in a full breakdown video. So inside the box, um, it comes wrapped in kind of a white sleeve here. Um, there's no sort of branding on that sleeve at all. And then you have an outer box, and the outer box um, is branded with Hamilton there on the top. And as you open it up, there's going to be a sort of a wood finished sort of a box inside. Uh, and that's what contains the watch and all the other documents and papers that come with it. This isn't a new box. This is a box they've been using for a while. Um, and I think their original um, khaki and titanium came in the same box. So inside the box, you have some customer service information. You have some manuals, some service information. And of course, I dropped immediately the warranty card. And there is the warranty card. This watch comes with a two-year warranty from Hamilton, as most of their watches do. All right, so on to this wooden box. Inside of here, we do have um, the watch. <clears throat> Not too much inside here, just the watch on a pillow. Um, first impressions are very positive. And full disclosure, I am a huge fan of the Hamilton khaki field watches, uh, especially the ones that come in titanium. Um, I love the way titanium wears on the wrist, as you can see here, I'm actually wearing um, the previous uh, titanium khaki field um, in PVD black. Um, so I was excited to get my hands on this watch simply because one of the big changes that they made with the 2022 versions is they released it in 38 millimeters, which is a much better size for my wrist personally. Um, the 42 millimeters that it came in um, in the last release is just for me a little bit too big. So I was really excited to get my hands on a 38 millimeter version of this watch. And here you can see it on the wrist. Um, and as I've been saying over and over, this 38 millimeters fits so much nicer for me on my wrist. Um, the strap itself is a little bit short, but that's pretty common. I have a rather, rather big wrist. Um, so that's not too, uh, too shocking for me. Uh, and here's everything that came in the box. So pretty simple packaging here from Hamilton. Um, little close-up of that strap. Um, I've been wearing this throughout the day today, and this is an incredibly comfortable strap. Uh, it's a little bit stiff at first, but as I kind of have been wearing it, it's been um, kind of softening up a bit, and it wears really comfortably. And now we'll finish up with some close-ups of the dial. Um, this dial itself hasn't actually changed too much from the 2020 version, um, and that's not a bad thing. I think that they have a really solid field watch design, aesthetic, and uh, I think it looks good in green. And inside here, we do have the H10 movement, uh, which has an 80 hour power reserve, um, has really been a workhorse movement for Hamilton, really good value for money, especially when you're talking about getting into a Swiss movement, in-house movement from Hamilton. Um, the H10 is a wonderful movement to buy. All right, guys, if you appreciated this video and you want to see more, please subscribe. I'm going to have the in-depth review shortly, uh, which will have a lot more close-ups of the dial uh, and the movement itself uh, and more details about this watch um, as I continue to wear it over the next couple days. Thank you so much.